Hello, hello, hello. Anybody who's watched my uh, channel over the last couple of years, thank you, uh, would have seen that I have uh, bought myself a number of projectors and from the cheap to the slightly more expensive and usually I've uh, sold them on. Um, my need for a projector is not... Uh, I don't need it for home per se although it's nice and I like to have one for work because I do a lot of presentations so it's nice to have something uh, that you can have on the go um, I would say my favorite projector for work still is probably been the uh, Motorola Z uh, with the InstaShare projector um, it's very portable really easy uh, okay now the caveat with it is that it is uh, only 50 lumens so it's not too bright but really for the size of it for the portability it's still a cracking um, uh, projector so if you can buy yourself a cheap Moto Z phone find yourself one of them projectors it's really good um, this I saw and uh, I now I've been having a lot of problems with Amazon SA so really I've just given up with them everything I own uh, I ordered in the last uh, two months all been either been refunded for some reason or other not to do with me to do with the seller so I'm giving up on them and I'm just sticking with uh, Noon so I, I found this on Noon this is the Acer C200 and it is a well, you can see, I mean, the size of my hand, it's a very portable uh, Pico projector uh, with some good and some uh, slightly not so good points about it. Um, now, the specs on this is that it's supposedly 200 lumens, but I read uh, on online a guy did some fancy testing on it, and it's probably nearer like 160 lumens. Um, but I don't think it makes a, a massive big difference um, uh, uh, considering the portability of this. Uh, it's 20,000 hours um, lamp life, that's what it says on the website. Uh, it uh, doesn't come with an onboard speaker, which is one of the downsides of it, but it's not a massive uh, uh, big deal. Uh, it's got a really good battery and it gives you up to I'm going to turn it on here it gives you up to um, four and a half hours battery life and you can actually use this to reverse a uh, charge so you can use it to charge your phone or something like that um, it's a very simple uh, setup uh, once you are uh, ready to show anything then you either connect your uh, laptop uh, via the HDMI here and uh, of course then you'll just watch from your laptop you can also uh, and I will show you in a minute you can connect uh, certain phones not all phones will work it depends on something on your setting on your phone with USB-C anyway I, I, with the Samsung phone that I have uh, it's it, it works fine so basically I just connect it with the HDMI to USB-C and then I can start watching stuff and I have a Bluetooth speaker so I use the Bluetooth speaker in my room and with that set up I've been really pretty happy it's a good picture now it's not 720 it's um, the res resolution is 854 by 480 so it's like standard de uh, definition but with that kind of higher lumen, uh, uh, I'm thinking back to my LG, which was, I, I liked the LG, and it was 720, but to, I just don't notice a massive difference between the LG and this, okay, um, uh, uh, with that 720, but this is slightly brighter, so, now look, when I say it's bright, it still needs to be in a pretty dark room and my bedroom at night is, is pretty dark so uh, it still needs to be in a dark room really to enjoy it but for the likes of presentations um, uh, for example then you can get by with uh, turning off your, any overhead lights it is more than um, enough uh, um, but that it, it, I recommend that you buy a, a tripod and I am um, 
can't find my tripod. I'm using a tripod for this phone, but I can't find it. Um, so I ordered up one of these uh, octopus tripods just to have it being a bit more flexible. Um, so let me just put that down there and uh, get my laptop for you. I'm just going to move my camera slightly here. Don't go anywhere. <coughs> So I'll just open my laptop and uh, so I have um, on my laptop I have a USB-C actually to HDMI so I'm just going to connect it here and uh, move that away okay so look I mean, I'm not uh, you're not going to be dazzled by the. Um, uh, I just want to give you an idea of. Uh, let me lift this up, might be easier. Um, so there it is, there. And uh, they say it can go up to 100, uh, about 100 um, inch screen. And I found in my uh, room about 80 was pretty this pretty much the sweet spot but really for presentations I mean this is pretty handy kind of on the go stuff let me just uh, put my phone back on the the, gr the ground again um, so it is for on the go presentations which is the real reason that I supposedly bought this secondary was like some entertainment just something different uh, in the house um, uh, it, this is uh, really decent. That uh, four and a half hour battery life. Now, I mean, if it's only three and a half hours, I'm still going to be uh, happy enough with it. The menu buttons is really uh, very, um, very simple. Um, here we go, and uh, it basically just has displaced um, sound because you can put in headphones here. Uh, it has. Um, keystone correction so that you can uh, well point the point this up um, and uh, adjust the keystone so that the screen is nice and flat and it has some other settings there now I've got it on the brightest uh, of the settings because really that is the the one that you need for uh, you know a lighter type uh, room and uh, but there's three other set uh, two other settings as an eco and a kind of battery or, or less bright setting but I prefer the top setting of being very bright. Now, as I've said, I have used a number of these. I'm just going to unplug it from my uh, laptop. Um, I've used a number of these, and uh, I've found uh, this one to be... Uh, I've used a number of smaller kind of portable uh, projectors, and they've all been having their good and bad uh, points. And, and I'm not saying that this one is perfect, but... I mean, it's a perfect size. It's really, really easy. I'm just going to turn it off because uh, it's um. A, let me turn it off. Come on, right? Uh, it's really easy. I mean, it's made of just plastic. It's not going to, um, you know, that take some uh, knocking and stuff like that. Uh, for, I forgot to mention about the focus thing is here the focus wheel is here pretty easy I did read some reviews saying that they thought this was really stiff this one isn't stiff it's very um, light um, I didn't notice too much noise from the uh, the fan here's the ventilation area uh, so I think what this has got going for it is that it's a pretty decent picture now it's standard definition so don't think you're getting 4k with this you're not uh, but again, if uh, for the kids' room, I think you could do some at least. Uh, you no, know, uh, you could do uh, gaming on this if it's connected to your Xbox or your. Uh, I have Nvidia Shield and Xbox. Uh, you could uh, have this in your kids' room. It could be kind of set up uh, for them to watch movies if you have um, a nice free white wall. Uh, I, I really do think that it's. Um, it's pretty kind of uh, flexible and adaptable for what you can use it for. Uh, and again, for my use, um, walking around different places and needing to have a kind of a presentation instrument on the go, uh, this 
uh, is, is pretty handy just with my laptop set up and uh, it probably even my tablet set up. I have Samsung tablet which uh, if my Samsung phone works, I'm assuming my tablet will work, I can have PowerPoint on that. Uh, very easy for me on the go. My laptop's not particularly heavy. It's easy enough to um, carry around as well. So I think it's definitely uh, worth your consideration. And and here is the most important thing. It was less than 700 rials. So what's that? And that's about it's less than 200 dollars, I think, um, or just less than 200 dollars. But for here, I mean, uh, in Saudi, that I think is there's not many. Um, smaller branded projectors that offer as much kind of flexibility as uh, this thing does um, and it is definitely worth a consideration I would say more well look budget wise nothing's beaten it okay nothing has beaten it the LG is a good one don't get me wrong the LG is a good one um, the Moto Z and the InstaShare uh, projector that goes with the Moto Z is not available in, in Saudi, so you need to order that elsewhere. So really, if, um, unless you want to go for an unbranded uh, projector, which I have done in the past and with varying degrees of success, uh, uh, if you really want to go for a brand, then this Acer C200 is is definitely worth a, uh, worth a look. I just don't expect to have... 4k on your uh, streaming movie whatever it is you want to watch but as a for kids as for casual watching of movies in your bedroom for something dif different and definitely for on the go kind of presentations office work the fact of the the battery and uh, you can use it to charge up your device as well uh, this has got a lot going for it um so that's that i just really wanted to share it with you i'm going to try it once i get my tripod I'll probably do a presentation or two as well but I did check it in my room with PowerPoint and it looked re re uh, pretty decent so anyway that's um I just wanted to share it because I know a lot of people are interested in smaller uh, projectors um, and uh, the there's a lot around but we just the quality of them is just not that great uh, I, I don't think most people would be disappointed with uh, the Acer um, especially at that price point. That's it. Okay, thanks. Bye.